Can you become a CTO? Not sure what is required for a CTO position? This state of confusion is common in the tech industry due to a lack of detailed and up-to-date information. So, to address this, we reverse-engineered the job descriptions provided by employers for the CTO position to find out the key patterns and skills one needs for the role today. For this analysis, we have extracted close to 150 job ads from various job boards in the USA. Unlike our previous analyses on other popular career paths, this one is going to be a little unusual, as CTO is more of an executive role. And although it is a known fact that a CTO would be more hands-on in technical operations of an organization, it is challenging to present the ideal technologies required for CTO because every company has its own specific requirements. Nevertheless, there are quite a few non-technical skills that are listed as crucial by almost all companies. And hopefully by the end of this video, you have a clear idea of what you need to kickstart your career as a CTO. As part of this analysis, we did our best to find the answers to the most important questions every aspiring CTO needs to know. 1. What are the companies with more openings? 2. Which are the locations with a higher concentration of job offers? 3. What education is expected for a CTO role? 4. What is the ideal experience required for a CTO role? 5. What are the skills a typical CTO should possess? If any of the above questions are on your mind, stay tuned because you'll find the answers by the end of this video. But before we jump into the actual analysis, let's quickly define the role itself. Who is a CTO? If we search through Wikipedia, we will see that a CTO is the highest technology executive position within a company that leads the technology or engineering department. To define the role in our own terms, CTO stands for Chief Technology Officer. A CTO usually handles all the technical-related aspects of the organization and guides other employees in developing the right products or technology that serves the organization needs. All right, now that you're familiar with the definition of the role, let's jump in to see what we have found while analyzing the data from the CTO job descriptions. Starting with companies. Our data shows that there are most openings in Microsoft at the moment, followed by the Federal Reserve Bank. Overall, there are very few openings company-wise, but this makes perfect sense since multiple openings for a CTO role in a single company is very rare. In terms of company types, almost 33% of the job offers are from large-scale companies with more than 10,000-plus employees. What makes an impression, however, is that there are some considerable offers from small-scale organizations as well, which indicates that an increasing number of startups are currently looking for CTOs. What about industries? It is easy to spot that the largest number of openings belong to the financial services and information technology industries. But these are far from the only options, as there are considerable openings under the healthcare and education industries too. Next in our analysis comes location. Statewise, we can easily draw the following conclusions from the data at hand. First, the majority of openings for CTO positions are in California and New York. Second, there is a significant number of openings from Washington and Virginia states. So, it's safe to say you now know which flight to book if you're aiming for the CTO title. To narrow things down, let's take a look at the cities with the most CTO offers at the moment. Currently, the best opportunities are undisputedly in New York City. However, don't rule out San Francisco and Redmond, as data suggests they offer a reasonable number of openings, too. Okay. We have mapped out the best industries, companies, and locations to consider if you have set your sight on the CTO role. So, now it's time to take a good look at the education, experience, and skills required by employers. Let's begin with education. What degree do you need to fulfill the CTO position? According to the data, almost 50% of job offers mention bachelor as the required degree for the CTO position. However, the master's degree is mentioned in almost the same number of offers as bachelor's, so that might be a trend worth following up in the future. On the other hand, very few companies are expecting PhD candidates for the CTO position, probably because business acumen and experience are considered more important for that dynamic role. What about specialization? Well, the majority of the companies have listed computer science as the preferred educational background for CTO. Other more prominent fields of concentration include mathematics, EE, and statistics. And we've got you covered. We developed the 365 Data Science Program to help people of all backgrounds enter the field of data science, 
machine learning, and data analytics. We have trained more than 500,000 people around the world and are committed to continue doing so. If you are interested to learn more, you can find a link in the description that will also give you a special offer on all of our plans. Back to our topic. Let's talk about the experience you need to become a CTO. Since CTO is more of an executive role, companies are looking for experienced candidates. On average, the overall industry experience expected for a CTO position is 10 plus years. Besides, candidates with relevant experience in senior roles of seven plus years are preferred by the companies. All right, it's time to dive into the practical aspect of the CTO role, skills. Our research outlines six distinct categories, programming languages, front-end technologies, other technologies tools, domain knowledge, soft skills, and communication skills. Let's start with programming languages. As we pointed out earlier, it has been a little difficult to find the default technical skills for a CTO role. Instead, we identified the current trends, that is, the most mentioned skills by companies. In that case, these are Net C Sharp, Java, SQL, and JavaScript. Continuing with front-end technologies, two trends jump off the page. First, it is observed that front-end technologies are mentioned in a good number of openings. This adds up, as these days most of the small-scale companies are interested in building web-based products. And second, Angular, React.js, and Node.js are mentioned in quite a few openings. When it comes to other technologies and tools, companies need candidates that are well aware of the currently popular technologies like machine learning, SaaS, and DevOps. AWS and Azure are also mentioned in a few offers as cloud technologies are trending in the industry these days. Naturally, companies are expecting the candidates to know about certain domains as this helps them build the right products to satisfy customer needs. So, in tune with the latest developments and trends in business and economics, healthcare and finance are mentioned in quite a few job offers. That said, the technical aspect of the CTO job is only half of what it takes to move up the ladder and become one. In fact, soft skills are probably the most important skills for a CTO position. Most of the companies are looking to recruit candidates with strong leadership qualities in managing the employees. What's more, many companies are expecting candidates for a CTO role to be experts in the design and architecture of the products. Strategic thinking and an innovative mindset are some of the most prized qualities and are in huge demand for the role. Finally, as we approach the end of the list of qualities a CTO needs to possess, we shouldn't forget that communication skills and soft skills go hand in hand. As a CTO, you are bound to interact with various teams and other leaders in the organization. So top communication skills are a must. Our data confirm that with more than 50% of companies requiring communication skills. Now you've got a good idea about the skills and education required to become a CTO. To recap, this is more of a role-oriented job. So if you have good knowledge in any domain and front-end technologies, prior experience in a senior role, and you're capable of handling an organization with good leadership qualities, then you stand a fairly high chance to get an interview call for the CTO position. If you have any doubts or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments. We are happy to help. Cheers!